Monday, uh, April the 20th, and uh, I'm just uh, trying to give you a bit of an update as to what's taking place here at Panola. So first of all, thank you for um, your support uh, over this period of time, and particularly in getting your uh, children or uh, engaged in the learning that, that we're setting. Um, there's been quite a bit of uh, feedback from, from a range of different parents, and I just wanted to go through um, some of the things that we're planning in the next uh, few uh, weeks or so, uh, in just in terms of engagement for, for our students. Um, I know that this has been a really difficult time for you as parents um, to try and keep uh, ensure that your son or daughter um, remains engaged with their learning. And I thank you for the efforts that, you, that you're making with regards to that. Uh, we do have some students that are on site with us here uh, at this particular point in time. Um, they're either the children of uh, essential workers uh, predominantly or um, uh, maybe um, particularly vulnerable in that they can't study it uh, within their home environment. Um, so in total, we have about 25 students registered to do so, uh, to do their learning on site. Um, I just want to speak briefly about year 12 students at this stage. Um, anxious time for uh, year 12 students and their parents and um, we're getting clarification at this particular point in time. Just from the VCAA, I've got a seminar, a, a webinar with them on Thursday of this week just to uh, give us some sort of indication as to what changes there might be made to Unit 4 content, uh, when exams might be scheduled and how we might complete uh, practical assessments for Unit 3. So um, we'll be in a better end of the week to let you know exactly how we're going there. The second thing I will say is that um, we are very close to uh, introducing video conferencing uh, in some in most of our classes. Um, won't be in e each and every class, it'll be in some of those classes and uh, subject teachers will choose to use that um, when they feel as it is appropriate. Um, and so that should enhance our um, remote learning aspect as well. Um, I also uh, just want to emphasise to parents that um, I had some parents that have been communicating with me to say that they've received nothing on email uh, from the college and they won't. Um, we have about 300 families that don't have uh, email addresses, so we find that uh, communication with our families via email is, is not really effective. And um, so the ways that we are communicating is uh, predominantly either through the newsletter or through um, our web page, external web page. And I'll just share my screen so that you can see exactly where that is. So this is our um, panola.vic.edu.au. And this is the, you can see the link up there, the COVID-19's update up the top. And uh, so that takes you through this page and there's a whole range of different resources that we've provided for you there. So um, the student remote learning guide, um, we've got a, a parent's guide to support remote learning, an Easter message from myself, and then a letter to parents regarding the commencement of remote learning, remote learning plan for parents and a guide to remote learning. And then a letter from me um, dated the Tuesday the 7th of April and you click on uh, here there um, to to access that letter. So um, hopefully that information, uh, I'll stop sharing that screen, that information uh, will continue to come out and uh, provide you with, a, with regular updates um, about how, how it's been going. But from my point of view, um, the start has been relatively successful in that uh, our my panola has, has, um, hasn't has crashed. There hasn't been any major uh, issues with regards to students submitting work, accessing the work and so on. So I'm relatively pleased with the way that things are going in that regard. Um, obviously, you'll be in contact. We've appointed family liaison officers and they'll make contact with you at least once a week. Um, and just to get some feedback from you as to ways that we can improve. And I do appreciate your um, ongoing support. Uh, thank you very much and uh, I'll, I'll let you know uh, in the weeks ahead um, some further updates. Thank you. Bye.